Nope, doesn't fit. Wrong number of connections. So, how did that go again? Da, whatever. Work this way. Killbot mode! Ah! All humans must be exterminated! Ah! Ouch! What's going on? Where is Chillbot? Chillbot can't help you! That loser mode can only be activated during throttle use. Before I let you throttle me, I'll throttle you! Glorying <laughs> Chillbot brutality mode. Whoa! Oh, that's better now. I just have to figure out how to activate the Chillbot mode. Can't be that difficult. There are only three levers. Thrillbot mode! Welcome to the second pain of Ouch! What's going on? People have a little whimper. Far more suffering will be inflicted on you. You cannot. Thrillbot mode! This setting activate Chillbot? Well, in theory, yes, but the throttling has given me a chronic processor malcooling. Oh man, so all I have to do to activate Chillbot is remove the throttle limiter. That would be <coughs> very kind. Thrillbot mode! Thrillbot mode! Step, wait, just a pop. Ill-bot mode. <coughs> Ill-bot mode. <coughs> 
Robot mode? Robot mode? Killbot! Robot mode? <laughs> Robot mode. Killbot. Killbot mode. Killbot mode. Robot mode. Robot mode. Killbot mode. Killbot mode. Robot mode. Robot mode. Ill bot mode. Ill bot mode. Chill bot mode. Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere, man. Finally. Huh. What we need here is a suitable. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. Professor Rufus presents the miracle of heat exchange. Sweet. I could just pig out on looking except that I can't. I don't need to pack that up for later, now or never. That's my motto. astronauts. <laughs> I think I still have the touch. Did I say potato astronauts? No, I meant ear protectors. I don't need to pack that up for later, now or never. That's my motto. Are those by any chance ear protectors? Wow! Thanks! You can imagine how much that band's incessant noodling is getting on my nerves. Come on, play Rudy's dental work! Rudy! Rudy! You heard it, lads! Our fans are clamoring for Rudy! A one, a two, a one, two, three, and whatever comes after three. No clues. I think I would have noticed. Now all that's missing is ammunition and a way to cram everything into the barrel.
So, now all that needs to be done is stuff everything into the barrel. Huh. Done. Let the elephant come. Corporal Tuck, you stay here and guard the entrance. Hang on. Is that a weapon? You wanted a weapon, but I'm, um, a pacifist. Uh, above all, you're an especially easy target for someone with a loaded gun and badly strained patience. A, a weapon? With which I can guard the entrance. Uh, uh, about time. How thoughtful of you to dig this thing out in order to slowly pass it over to me now. Butt end first. So, finally rid of all your worries and fears? Well, excellent. Then move out before our bloodthirsty ghost elephant grows fangs. <laughs> He's kidding, right? It can't be ruled out completely. So, find anything? Nothing. And there were no side turnings either. Huh, same here. Then we have obviously arrived too late. Not so fast. Maybe it used this ladder to get away. An elephant that can climb ladders? Oh, God, you have no imagination whatsoever. Aha! So this is where that goes. Very clever. And? Any idea where that... Elephant? Uh, gone. But now we know where its hideout is. We could go back to the past and trap it. I'm not so sure. Do we have enough time for that? Uh, time is your department. Can't we just rewind it a little bit further? Then I can build the trap right before I help you park. I can try. I think I might still have a strengthener on the bed, but it won't give us much. Not much is way more than I expected from you. Time to put on my winner face. We have a plan. I dreamt of the end of the world, and then I went on an elephant hunt. Although, was that even really a dream? It seemed so real. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I should concentrate on building an elephant trap. That's exactly what I need for my elephant trap. On the other hand, it wasn't all that useful. Bullseye! Yeah. And Tony always criticizes my accuracy with the toilet seat. <laughs> Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough. Not exactly the best spot for an outhouse, but when you gotta go, 
The trap is set. That destructive pachyderm is about to get the surprise of his little pink life. What? Are you finished already? Did I have a choice? You've taken far too long. Yeah, but all this fuss was for one purpose and one purpose only. So that you didn't run over those glasses. And now you can all of a sudden park perfectly without my help? That is connected to the complexities of time travel. Difficult to explain, even more difficult to understand. Ah, you had the rearview mirrors set wrong, didn't you? I'll happily drive in again if you like. Nah, forget it. Doesn't matter. And? I am not going through that again. It isn't necessary either. And now, while I go pick Tony up, biff boff, the trunk is off. It's gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? And how? The trap is set. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus! May Tephanus be with us! Hey, Rufus! Not now, Jack-o'-lantern. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. I have got to tell you about my dream. Can't that wait until after we've left? Uh, well, maybe so, but it was totally awesome. You've never understood any of my dreams. The more you tell me, the prouder I am of that fact. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not. What? No cynical comments? No doubt? No venomous jibes? And not today. I've just about had enough of this place. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pat my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that, that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is, the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. Tony, no, don't let the elephant out. It's a vile monster. <sighs> Rufus, have a real close look at your elephant. Well, notice anything? Well, I noticed the fact that whoever built this trap must have been a genius. I mean about the elephant. Oh. Uh, now I see it. It looks just like a Drexican piñata. Do you think it'll explode in a shower of candy if I hit it? Ouch! It worked! Candy's all over the place! But, wait a minute. I'd know these candies anywhere. Aren't these the same ones your mom always has? That's no elephant. That's your mom. You don't say. Just don't hit me too hard, okay? Wait up. Right. I'll give you exactly one sentence. 
it was a case of mistaken identity. I reckoned with a, a fat pink elephant and, uh, well, look for yourself. That was your sentence. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Tony, you forgot to break my nose. How? Broken. Cry. Laugh. Forgive. <laughs> Tony? I can't help myself. I think my little faux pas was perfectly understandable. What's happened? No panic, I have everything under control. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. If anything, your girlfriend looks even angrier than before. I said I have things under control, okay? But the timeline! To hell with your stupid timeline! I'm dealing with some real problems in the real world. Got that, Dumbledolt? This is a nightmare. Forget it, Pops. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Oh, uh, that's what your mother said back then, too. It was the words, fresh cookies, that finally clinched it. Knocky, knocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. How bad is it this time? <laughs> oh, uh, I'd say we're on a 9.8. Make it around 10. So you are speaking with me. Then it can't be that bad after all. Oh. You have to admit, your mother does look a lot like a pink elephant. Uh, Rufus? <laughs> Perhaps you should just give her a moment? No panic. I'll take care of it. <laughs> after all, the glasses are still intact. What? Doesn't that count for anything? Then why did I go to so much trouble to avoid breaking them? Fresh cookies? It's not working! Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, uh, having a clue! You got any sugar cubes on you? Ah! Oh, come on, Tony. Let's just kiss and make up, okay? What, not even a... <laughs> come on, go ahead and scream at me. Then we'll have it all behind us. Rufus, you're such an idiot, but a handsome idiot that I just can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> Be handsome idiot. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Happy now? You just don't get it, do you? You can't constantly burn all your bridges and then expect that everything will continue as before. At some point, it's over. And that point is now. But that's what this is all about. Everything's ready. We can finally leave for Elysium to New Horizons. This isn't a new horizon. It's the same stupid horizon as last time and the time before. And in the end, it'll just turn out to be a dead end. And that's where you're wrong. I happen to know for sure that I will make it. I've seen it, but not with you. Oh, no. I'm going to meet an Elysian woman, one who understands me. Uh, Rufus? So, surprised, aren't you? This time, I'm the one breaking it off. So there, find yourself another idiot to tolerate you and your nagging. You tolerated me. Uh-oh. Precisely. But my patience is at an end. You! Tolerated me! Oh, Tony, uh, calm down. Ah! No! Oh, my goodness gracious. Gumbo, this is a catastrophe. R relax. Tony has always had this tendency to go for spontaneous self-combustion. Let's just turn back to time again. Or, uh, you know what? We'll just forget it. The Chrono Car, what have we done? We have irreparably changed the course of history. Calm down. Tony wouldn't have come anyway. In my vision, the fight went about the same, except for one or two minor details. What? 
In addition, you really don't want the story to play out. Believe me. It was a pretty stupid story. Didn't even have a happy ending. Well, we agree that this vision could only have been a dream. Why? Because it's impossible to recall events from the future? That? Oh. Exactly. I bet all of this has happened before. My plans for getting to Elysium, the fight with Tony, and my having saved the world. You did what? Save the world? Not yet. And the jury's still out on whether I want to do it again. Oh, my dear Aunt Dora, how could I have been so stupid? Precisely. You might want to think about your mistakes. In the meantime, I'm going to Elysium. This time I'm not letting anyone spoil my happy ending. To Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh, damn! The stove is still out. How stupid of me. And away we go! Elysium, here I come! <laughs> what are you doing? Rufus, you hostile pest! You're trying to kill me! That's plan B, but we can gladly skip a phase if you want. You wait! That's the last time you'll see Tony! I'm gonna forbid her to ever meet up with you again! Go ahead! I'm done with her anyway! Just like everything else here! Now you just have to let go! Are you crazy? I'll break every bone in my body! Ha! <laughs> with all that fat? Not likely! And now we anchor! <laughs> Bon voyage, you harpy! <laughs> what did you say? I said <laughs> I can't hear you! The balloon is on fire, you dopus! <laughs> the balloon is on fire! <laughs> oh. Oh! Rupert! Where's he gone? Stop him! Get the torches, man! Uh-oh. They're pretty pissed off. I think it's time to make tracks. Yikes! Be not afraid, Rufus. We have common Oh, really? Then why are you constantly terrorizing me? Everything must happen exactly how it happened before. Well, you can forget that. And anyway, what's with the stupid getup? We have selected our appearance to be comprehensible to human understanding. I think you should have got better advice. See, I told you that this getup was a full fix idea. Only because you are constantly breaking character. We can swap. I'm certain you'd be the better Elephant Krishnas. Hello. I hate to interrupt, but I have an urgent date with Elysium. No, that must not happen. Everything must stay exactly as it always has been. You mean as it was always was meaning to be meant. <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage, Wumbo and Dumbo. The elephant, I mean, uh, the, 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 the time traveler, it's here again. Ah, uh, was. He had to go again. Yeah, but it must have left something behind. My readings are conclusive. It's as if the gate had been opened. 
There he is! Up ahead! Get him! Gate sounds good. I hope it has a drawbridge and murder holes on the battlements. What the heck? So, Professor Goatee can't believe his eyes, huh? Now that's what I call a time machine. What a parking job. Just leave your protractor in your pocket until we've shaken off the lynch mob. With a heavy heart. Wow, that looks complicated. Traveling through time is not exactly the same as changing the fuse. Ah, where we're going, we don't need fuses. You know how to turn that stuff on? Heavens no. It would theoretically take months of analysis to do that. Theoretically, maybe. But this, my temporal friend, is practical. Watch and learn. <laughs> Got it up and running. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm guessing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And now, full speed ahead! Whoa. Oops, guess that was reverse. Please be careful. My motion sickness. Yeah, yeah. Relax while you hold on tight! Yeah. That, that's Elysium. I actually made it. According to the display, it is a future Elysium. It doesn't matter which Elysium. I don't know anyone here anyhow. Although, there was this woman in my vision. How far into the future are we? Difficult to say. One year, two at the most. Excellent. Then her skin shouldn't have started to go all slack yet. Is that really your only worry? Of course not. At the moment, I'm kind of worried about getting a good spot by the pool. What? We can't simply... Wrong. You can't. I can. And I will. Have fun turning those knobs, loser. <laughs> <laughs>